Bright and early, first thing in the morning Wipe my eyes and while I'm still yawning First thing that I think of is you Oh yeah, my friends crack jokes and say that you got me Within a way, now I'm all sloppy But I tell them that my pimp days are through I would say the style of music that I want to put out there would be like authentic R&B, something that that has like a strong background, strong foundation, you know, with a powerful message. Not too watered down, you know what I'm saying? I want my, my messages to be direct and relatable to, you know, people's lives and any incidents that people could actually say, oh, I've been through that, you know what I'm saying? That sounds like me. I would say my inspirations growing up was like a Boys to Men, uh, Jagged Edge, 112, definitely. But as I got older, I began to dig into like a Bob Marley, Marvin Gaye, just to get a deeper foundation on what music could do, and more so, I would say not in terms of soulful, in terms of content, the depth of content. So I wouldn't say I want to emulate any of them, but that's where I would draw the direction of truth into my music, like it's just that depth of meaning from those type of artists. Well, it depends. In terms of like major artists, uh, I opened up for Pat Poose in Brooklyn. I think that was big, my biggest personally because I was able to do something at home. And, you know, people could relate from where I'm from. You know, other than that, I've done college shows all over where I'm just the main act, you know, the headliner. Those were big, but I would say the, the Brooklyn shows are always more meaningful to me because it's my base, it's where I'm from, you know? Walking up Myrtle Ave, going to get a hero. I see that dude sitting on the corner. He hustling, he's there from 12 at night to 6 in the morning. You know, that struggle. I see this, this crackhead walk by who had a dream to do something different, you know what I'm saying? I feel my, I feel like those are the, the paths that I can respect and I see that those are the circumstances people end up in, but I fight to not end up there, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm writing my music, I'm writing my songs, I'm like, I, this is all to just, to, to beat that, you know, to outweigh that, to, to, to get my family out that situation. So that's where the inspiration is drawn from. 2013, well, I'm releasing a single called L-O-V-E, featuring LL Cool J. That's gonna be coming in, I think, I believe early, well, it's February now, give me like another week, it'll be on the radio spinning. From there, we actually, we're putting together a tour where we can do a promo for that actual record. I got my Fly Nate Music Group label pushing, I got my artist Fresh there. I have a reality TV show I'm doing with DJ Obsession. So I got some big things coming for this year. Yo, this your boy Nathaniel, AKA Fly Nate, and you now rocking with Obtrusive Magazine. Peace. So oh.